All right, hello. Can you guys hear us? Let's see. Boop, boop. Can you guys hear us? Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't yeah, know what weird. the heck happened. Okay. Um, do you want to give an intro? See. Still a few minutes. Don't it's five eighteen. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Here. Well, uh, welcome right to right another there. session of. Scoot over just a little bit. Which way? This way. That way. Yeah. Right. Here. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to another session of us live streaming um, Master Chef season three, which happened in, which aired in 2012, was filmed in 2012, also aired the same year. Today we're gonna watch episode four of season three. Episode four. And I have a special guest that's going to be joining and watching with us. So can anyone guess who it is? <laughs> They're gonna be like Corbin. Gordon Ramsay. No. Welcome, Gordon. He's right here at our house. <laughs> okay. They're saying the juicer, Felix. <laughs> Thank you, Scooty. All right. So, who guessed it correctly? Who's the first one that guessed? Uh, the first person that guessed it right. Uh, e Scooty. E Scooty. <laughs> it is Felix. Let's bring her on in. All right. Let me admit her. What's up, Felix? You are live. Hold on. There you go. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? <laughs> can yes. you guys hear Felix? Can you all see and hear Felix? What are they saying? They're like, yes, yes, we can. <laughs> Say hi, Felix. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so Felix lives in LA. She's hey. on the West Coast. I'm in Houston, but we were able to coordinate uh, to watch uh, episode four of season three together. So why don't we start? Anything you want to say, Felix, before we start the episode and we just watch it together as if we were just hanging out and <laughs> sitting next to each other and watching our season? No, I don't. I don't think I have anything specific to say. I will say <laughs> when I watched your uh, first uh, Twitch watching season one. Everything you remembered so clearly, I had forgotten. <laughs> really? Yeah, like everything about like the the warehouse, yeah, and, like, those boxes, all that stuff. I just like, I don't think I don't think I would have been able to recall it vividly the way that you had. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Felix, like everyone is like big fans of yours. They're always like, "When is Felix going to come on?" <laughs> And so, so you should plug uh, whatever you're doing. Yeah, what is your Twitch uh, name? You just signed up for. Um. Or is I it ready? Called, I think I'm called the Weeping Goat. The Weeping Goat. <laughs> the Weeping Goat. <laughs> okay. Let, well, 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 make sure you guys go and check it out. Uh, how do you spell it? The T H E. Yeah, just like the regular way, T H E. W-E-E-P-I-N-G. I literally just signed up for it, so I don't really know how to use Twitch. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do some, like, joint rolling tutorials or something. Dude, um, dude, we're, like, trying to figure it out as well. And there's, like, all these code words that people keep saying, and I'm just like, what is this? And they're like, oh, you got to download this plugin to see this emote and all this stuff. Oh, weird. But. You just say the same thing back, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But all right, so let's oh, start. Also, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Also, I have a lisp. Just FYI, because I just got a Invisalign. Dude, me too. Really? <laughs> yeah, yes. John just got it too. Shit. Okay, I'm like talking to my tables, and the other day, this like Gaijin guy was like, "Oh my god, we love you. What's your name?" And I'm like, "It's Felix." And he's like, "Phyllis? <laughs> Phyllis?" I'm like, "No, it's Felix." I have a lisp. <laughs> Wait, yeah. when did you get it? Um, maybe like a month and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about the same for yeah, me. Yeah, I think John had it. And my friend Teresa just got it too. It must be a yeah. trend. I feel like it's now I know trend. three people that just got it. Yeah, we all have lists now. So now when people ask me my name, I'm like, it's Felix. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, every time I get on a conference call, I have to like take it off because I, I sound ridiculous. Yeah, you sound like a nerd, and then you do that like, like you like suck in the spit, you know. <laughs> I lost so much swag. 
after your Invisalign, telling you. It's okay. When you get it off, then you'll get it all back and then some. It's all right. Everyone's calling me Queen Felix. So if you actually want to jo uh, watch the, um, the chat, you can join the chat uh, on our uh, Twitch channel. Yeah, but and if just, not, just mute the video. Just mute the video and then you, you can see it. Oh, actually, you can see it in the video here. Oh, wait. Are, you're not watching our stream. That's right. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, what are I you forgot. talking about? All right. It, there's so many screens right now. Okay. I know. All I right. Know. Let's, let's start the episode. Okay. So, episode four. Here we go. Episode four. I think I remember which one this is. My guess is, Felix, I think it's the duck challenge, the duck mystery box. Oh, really? I think so. I'm guessing. Okay. Well, I have no idea. So. <laughs> I, I, I think you're probably right, whatever you guess. Okay. And then, Felix, you have the controls to pause and play anytime you want to. So if you want to pause and say something, like, that's up to you. And then I'll okay. just, like, pause it and ask questions that come through the chat every once in a while. Yeah, while. people are probably um, in the chat or box or whatever. So John will read yeah. out some questions and stuff to us. All right. Okay. Here, Here we, we go. go. Episode four. <laughs> Watching with Tears. The search for Is America's crying next already? Me? <laughs> the, first weeping. the weeping goat. <laughs> no, I'm, the, I'm also the weeping goat. <laughs> the blind weeping goat. Thousands of cooks have already been eliminated, and only 18 remain in the search for America's next master chef. Now. It's time for these top home cooks to take their place in the Master Chef kitchen. Is it glitchy on your guys' end too? Uh, are, what are you watching? What do you mean, what am I watching? I'm watching like, the, whatever you're watching. I'm watching <laughs> too. Yeah. How are you watching it? Are you watching it on the browser? Yeah. No, it's not glitchy for us. Oh, weird. Mine's a little bit glitchy. Well, for the Twitch people who are watching us on Twitch is a bit slow. I don't, I don't know how to fix it. Master Chef Kitchen for the first time is incredible. It's is that Michael? It's a beautiful kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. kitchen that I've always dreamed of. Is it Michael? Is it Master the Chef Kitchen? Master Chef Kitchen even has his own bar and restaurant. Man, this is crazy. It's freaking awesome. I have never seen so many glorious bottles of wine. The workstations are so spacious and they're beautiful. They're glistening. They're oh, yeah. calling us to come cook. Oh. There's this huge lounge, like every cookbook I could ever hope to own. It's just a dream. I'm like, I don't know. I it's can't see anything. <laughs> like, I don't know. You take every culinary equipment and you throw it all together and then you cover it in gold and then dip it in chocolate and then put it on a pedestal. That's the master chef kitchen. Yeah, they probably couldn't ask me because I'm like, I don't know. This kitchen is your culinary theater of dreams. Because for one of you, this is where you're going to lose the label of a home cook and be given a brand new title. One of you will be crowned America's next master chef. Now, there's only <laughs> one way to like, find okay, out it ain't gonna be me. who that is. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Make your way to your I'm like, stations. I don't know what I'm doing. You will not I don't know what's going find on. A more state of the art kitchen anywhere in the world than this. John says in the last episode, every time they flash to my face, I'm a brand new set of Master Chef three piece knives <laughs> made by Global. It's time to start finding out which of you There's home cooks really have the potential to earn the title of America's next Master Chef. The best way to do that is with your very first mystery box challenge. Each of you, you will have to prepare. Huh? Yeah. You look pressed. <laughs> You're like, one oh awesome my dish God, what using this? <laughs> only the ingredients hidden under those boxes. The person with the okay, best. If my memory serves me correctly, this was we'll duck breast. I think there was bok choy the stage of this competition. under there. Cook every dish like your life depends on it. On the count of three, you lift those boxes. Mystery box challenge, it's exactly like when I open up the fridge and there's a couple of this, a couple of that, which happens to me every single night. One, two, three, lift. I see sweet potato, wow. bananas. I'm trying to figure out eggplant. Egg, what is what is that? Oh, duck breast. I have no idea what to do with it. I see this beautiful duck breast. My heart lifts because Dang, I know how Felix. to taste. I've worked with it before. You've all got Dang, the most Felix amazing is so articulate. She pronounces everything so well. But not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 
potato, <laughs> five spice, fresh bananas, and some maple syrup. Prove to us that you truly belong here in this kitchen. I guess you could do it. People, nothing. when they lift that mystery box, they can see exactly what's underneath there. I have to listen to what the judges say when they list the ingredients and try to commit that to my memory. Your 60 minutes starts from now. Good luck. I think I remember Felix kicking ass in this mystery box. Okay, someone asked Felix, why did you join MasterChef? Because I like... What? What do you mean? Why? Because I like cooking. <laughs> like, how did how did you even like get to the point of being on MasterChef? Like, you heard about it and you went to go audition, or? Oh, you know, I moved to LA for acting, and uh, when I first moved out here, I didn't have like an agent or anything, so I was on Actors Access, and they actually they advertise it on there. I guess they look for people on Actors Access. Oh, I think good. like the top one hundred. You know, sometimes there's a lot of like just like uh like smoke and you know like they want they want like magicians and like yeah. people doing like really weird stuff so i think that's probably why they post it on actors access interesting mm. i didn't know that mm. yeah okay very very exciting challenge absolutely so many possibilities I think at this point, with so many contestants, it's really not strategy, right? to put I think the banana the is the devil in the box. It's really the only thing that you couldn't put with the duck breast. I'll tell you what I want to keep, okay? So, Christine has an aid, but under no circumstances can her aid interfere with the dish. I want to keep the kale. I want to keep the sweet potato. I want to keep the duck. I think she's at a bit of a disadvantage to they learn how to work together. Yep. 100%. The 18 now, this is your first chance to really scare and intimidate scare. people, too, and be like, this is what I'm all about. Yeah, I think I remember Felix I'm going to start off by rendering this. that duck fat off the duck breast. I blanch the kale and then sweat that off in the duck fat, bake the sweet potato, and do a really nice caramelized rhubarb with aged balsamic vinegar. Oh, rhubarb. Sauce. rhubarb. I'm like, I've never cooked anything with rhubarb. I wouldn't toss that I aside. am going to pan sear a duck breast with a sweet potato puree and sauteed kale in the duck fat. But the fact that there's no elimination on the end of this just helped me feel a little more relaxed. Dang, you did what Gordon was Take saying. full advantage of your 60 minutes. One stunning dish. At first, I saw that duck breast, and it was stunning, and I was really excited. But then I started thinking that I have a great dish for that that I kind of want to hold on to and bring that out later She's in the using competition. A so I'm thinking right crab. now, I just do what I know I can handle, yeah. which is a it's rhubarb. It's not it's a rhubarb. Oh, it, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was imitation crab. <laughs> it looks like imitation crab. Scott, what are you cooking? A peripheral. <laughs> A large I guess I'm blind with too. With yams and a little bit of duck in there. <laughs> this is like a serious competition. I'm being very serious about this. Is it Scott? This doesn't yeah. sound serious to me. I think so. Yeah. Right, Samantha, what are you doing? A, I don't uh, remember. Pan seared duck breast of a sweet potato rhubarb puree. Sweet potato rhubarb, they go together? I think so. Have you tasted it before? No, but I know what they taste like individually, so. You remember Samantha? Yes, yes, that's why I thought I remembered this was the first uh, get creative. challenge because I remember she okay. served the duck rare yeah, going and they ripped her up for it. And get the fat rendered? Yeah. Yeah. Really? She's hot. Are. You might run out of time. That's what yeah, I she, heard. she is pretty. Oh, there's you tasting. Interesting. Yeah. Definitely. You said that's good. <laughs> I said that yeah, about good. my own food. That's good. About my own food. Of course. <laughs> that's a good shit. Multitask. Absolutely. I'm really concerned about Samantha. Did you put sweet potato with rhubarb? Oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Who's this so thing about? Says she's going to bring her, you know, restaurant experience. Yeah. But her duck, I put my whole hand in the pan. It's not even on. It could be good if done right. Yeah, yeah you do it. You could do it from a cold pan. Yeah, yeah. Pan. Heat up, crisp up the skin. With sweet potato and duck breast. Profiteroles are a dessert and they <laughs> remain a dessert. And they should be tampered with. Absolutely. I remember that. Dude, profiteroles fucked everyone. Working on your Never. Yeah. Yep. I'm making yep. sure everything you put on a plate has a reason. Okay, five minutes left, guys. Five minutes. Man. Right, Tali, how are you feeling? Fire. Fire. You got a fire. Oh, that was Helene, I think. Oh, the vegan, right? Yeah.
For once, it wasn't me setting the kitchen on fire. Fire! Fire? What did you do? Fire. It was in the Just oven. So it might be so like good. a grease fire. I got it. I got it. Gordon yeah, he went and I think he put salt on her or something. I don't know. Oh, he just chucked it out. I yell fire and uh, Chef Ramsay comes over so um, valiantly. <laughs> yeah, no, I just burned my hand when I had to so Like a knight in shining armor. Everything's She's fine. having a, a moment. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Very okay. brave. Thank you. Okay. You set the place on fire. <laughs> no, it's not funny. She laughed. Dude, she really laughed. Really laugh laugh they... Be careful. Cut that in. Well, she must have if he said it's not that fun it's not funny, but I don't know. It's crazy. I think that's just the lack of experience and you're seeing a lot of people who didn't know what to do or trying to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. 60 seconds to go. Finish your touches of those plates. Clean those plates beautifully. Ten. Nine. What did Monty make? Eight, it's like the threading seven, on it or something. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hey, so Felix, when's the last time you actually watched these episodes? Uh, probably when they first came out, like Chris said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I've never revisited them again since then. Do you remember what you made that duck? Like, do you know what you did? Um. Pretty sure I pan seared it, maybe did like a five spice, uh, so some kind of five spice reduction. And uh, I think I made like sweet potato chips, like kind of baked chips. Ah, okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's all I remember from it. Yeah. Okay. Well done. After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, the judges now take one final look to identify three standout dishes. Yeah. It ain't mine. <laughs> I was like, shit, man. I know how to We've cook a duck breast, but I three know dishes what kind of creative thing to do with it. Stood out. Really stood out. The first person. Oh, I see like banana on the plate. Is? You know that you want to call my name. Please, please call my name. Ryan, let's go. That was Flavor elevator. I'm really not surprised that my plate is one really of the top <laughs> dishes. These other cooks are going to have to step up their game if they're going to want to compete with me. Right. The next person we'd like to invite down is Samantha. Oh, these oh, are the these, worst. These are the, these are the worst. People that decided oh. to do something truly new. I think a lot of people are going to be jealous. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know what to expect, person. so we were all assuming these are the best. Please come down. Scott? Scott. <laughs> like Let's duck go. Duck for My mind is just racing. I I, I know Poor that I wasn't 100% proud of this dish. Aww. It was not executed properly. Congratulations. I mean, you're so Scott's a really tonight. sweet guy. You, He's all tatted he up, really full sleeves, legs, everything. What He's like a skater, lives in DC. It's like my big brother from this Of this season. mystery box challenge. They look like Listen sliders, carefully. the profiterole duck sliders. Spiders? Sliders. Sliders. Not spiders. That's her list. In this kitchen. Sorry, I have a list. Because we could ask you to leave at any time, starting now. What? We're all gobsmacked. I just can't believe it. It's crazy to me. And I'm just like, what the heck is going to happen now? Okay, we'll taste all three dishes. Whoever we decide has plated the absolute worst dish will be handing back their apron. Oh, so they're sending some on a mystery oh, box, wow. which doesn't happen, normally happen. Ryan, bring the dish up the station, please. Let's go. So this episode I made is a balsamic rum glazed duck breast with some caramelized bananas. Oh, so that's <laughs> random, I guess. They're like, why do the bananas go with the duck? Yeah, that is weird. You proud of this? Yes. It's rendered to the point of being dry. Yeah, you may have some crisp on the skin, but bananas? I mean, it's like, is this a joke? <laughs> it looks like you plated it and then stepped on it. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Graham. Sadly, the cook on the banana is better than the cook on the duck. <laughs> bananas Sorry, I'm laughing. with duck. You've gone bananas. <laughs> That's what's happened. You've gone bananas. You can make it work. 
I don't know. I wouldn't have done because that. Because you could do like a the blueberry compote on a duck. But not a my mind, but you banana could, compote. Duck. Maybe. You have managed to cook the duck. I would never say never. Everything else around weird. that is dreadful. What's Ryan's facial expression? Samantha, the dish, please. Pretty good feed it. Everyone loves to feed it. Oh. What is it? It's um, it's pancit duck breast of a, a sweet potato rhubarb puree, so with a eggplant napoleon. It's a bunch of random vegetables. I wonder if you know that that's not cooked. Right? Who, you put on the Who was your favorite judge, Walk Felix? In, like the leaning tower of dryness. Joe. Joe? This Why? Is Why not Joe? Looking for. I don't know. He's kind of creepy. He's got that creep vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Felix. This is bad. Felix so likes many creeps. Levels, it's kind of hard to explain. Scott, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, what is that? It's a, a profiterole with a mashed up sweet potato man. and a slice of duck. It looks not great. Two whole duck breasts equates to three miniature slices of duck. Where's the rest of it? I honestly got scared. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. It's embarrassing, Scott. Oh, well, at least after the raw duck, we have a duck that has actually seen the frying pan. You thought it would impress us that you could put a slice of duck breast in a profiterole? A little overcreative. Overcreative. Delusional. <laughs> Three embarrassing dishes. <laughs> I'm scared. If they call my name and they send me home, I'm going to be the first person out of the 18 gone. Yeah. It would be devastating. Scott, one step forward, please. Yes, Chef. Oh, man. We're disappointed. Luckily for you, there are two dishes worse than yours. Back on your station, please. Yes, Chef. I remember I was standing in the Ryan, back like, holy shit, Samantha, this is scary. One of you has just cooked <laughs> to be last reamed dish in front of everybody. My dish looks ten times better than his dish. How is this even possible? Even though my dish might have agree? been uglier in he, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Even Ryan agreed. The person leading the competition. Ryan does the look pretty poor. Dish. I just wanted to say that I'm not, definitely not ready to go home yet. Oh, dang, and you were right. The hero of this dish was the duck. And out of the two of us, I'd say oh, that the, the duck was better executed by me. I don't and that care. Um, <laughs> I you guys can't eat raw care. duck. No begging. You're in this competition competing. Oh my don't god. Let's get that right. You muppet. Have some respect for your fellow contestants. See, I felt so bad. I was in the back, like so scared. The for them. competition. They cooked the worst he, dish. He like touched your forehead and you're stressed out. He started like headlining. <laughs> dun dun dun. The judges have already singled out the two worst dishes. Out of the two of us, I'd say that the duck was better executed by me. No begging. And now. For the first time, someone will be stripped of their apron and sent home from a mystery box challenge. The person yeah, leaving the competition that cooked the worst dish belongs to... Nobody. Get back in line. Samantha, please take your apron off and place it on your station. You're leaving the competition. They're like, they can only have one pretty girl there. <laughs> and it was Felix. Felix <laughs> filled that quota. <laughs> No, you know what? It's because he said that, and they're like, this guy's an asshole. We gotta keep him. Yeah, that's the other thing. That could be it, too. They're like, oh my gosh, Ryan's the, like, the hot, the hot. They're radioing him. They're like, make sure you kick out some head, though. The hot temper. But, man, come on. Ryan, for him to throw Samantha under the bus like that was a bitch move. Ryan. Yeah, I this was the start of when some people started disliking Ryan. You can never Ryan, feel safe here, and I think that that's exactly what they were trying to tell us. So you better be bringing your A game every single day. Winning. I every remember challenge, David Martinez, every pressure test, Monty. Results, they did not like. So many advantages uh, in this competition, Ryan. and today the glory does belong to somebody because their dish stood out above their competition. That dish belongs to. Oh. Felix. Yeah! Oh! Felix! It's a huge validation. This is definitely one of the proudest moments. Oh, she's like crying. <laughs> Come and stand over here. I'm trying to just be humble and like. Alright, Felix. You know, keep... What did you feel at that moment? 
Um, I think I was surprised and I was like, oh shit, like the first mystery box. Yeah, no. Were you like, man, I got this shit. I'm going to win. No, I don't think ever it felt like that, but with each day, it started to feel more serious and yeah, more. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of like, oh, dang, like it's actually possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. asked, was it crying an act or real? <laughs> I don't know. Course. Felix, you can answer that. <laughs> I fake it every single time. <laughs> That's how good she is, guys. That's how good she is. Felix is lying. <laughs> my composure, but I don't think that Felix deserved to win. Dang. Oh! I'm so bummed. Great job. <laughs> really good job indeed. I did a Chinese five spice seared duck breast. Oh, yeah. And I did a sauce for it and eggplant and sweet potato chips. That looks good. Phenomenal execution. Nice. Phenomenal. The sauce and everything on the plate really works. We recognize it immediately as being restaurant quality and the flavor is fantastic. Thank you so much. Felix is now a front runner. Competition is on. So Felix, for winning today's Mystery Box Challenge, you're coming with us to find out your huge advantage in the next challenge. Let's go, well done. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, My Felix is really now the skinny. first home cook to enter <laughs> the <laughs> That was a style. The trend has changed. Here, Felix is in control of the first I think our, test. Is this the next one where she gets to pick who gets what fish, and that's Each when she gave me the beautiful salmon that I fucked up? one person leave the competition. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I'm surrounded by the most amazing fresh produce. It was the most beautiful pantry I had ever seen in my life. Felix I hate it when they make us say this shit. <laughs> or the dish that everyone must cook. However, the one thing she cannot control is the theme of the challenge. That is in the hands of the judges. Okay, Felix, I have a question. Do you think the way you came off on the show is a good representation of you? Wait, is that you asking me or is that someone asking? It's me, me asking. Oh, I don't know. I haven't watched it in so long. I don't really remember. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe you can watch the answer after. <laughs> Today, you'll be cooking one of our three most intimidating dishes. I'm down. Even though I was practically raised on it, it's a dish that uh, intimidates me because it's so difficult to execute, and it's a dish that takes me back to my grandmother's kitchen and my mother's kitchen. It is Italian risotto. Oh, and the risotto. risotto! Refers not only to rice, but the technique involved in making it, because as opposed to steaming it or boiling it, we saute it. There is one dish that always gives me the chills. Because you can't hide behind oh, you adding different little touches and ingredients and garnishes. Classic New England clam chowder. Five ingredients, uh, potatoes, cream. I don't remember what I chose. Clams. All of those things, at the end of the day, they sound easy, and that's what makes it a hard I dish. I remember cooking a risotto, so I got to find a risotto. The most intimidating but dish. the risotto would be way easier well than chowder. For. It's like a work no of art. No way. You seriously have to easier. follow every no. step religiously. Any idea? Your notorious beef wellington. <laughs> it's exactly that. <laughs> Oh, Excuse damn, me? that's hard. It's so intimidating. Dang, it Felix, you guessed it? That's, like, that's the only thing Hannah, he cooks, dude. Joe, Graham, <laughs> my dish. He likes what dish. Are you yeah, going to choose? I won't say it. <laughs> you don't remember which dish you did? I choose. Maybe the beef wellington, but do you remember making that? I didn't make it. No, was, oh, so you choose one dish and we all cook the same thing? Then it's the risotto. I remember the I cooked risotto. Of today's Maybe he, elimination she picks test who. is our most intimidating dishes. We gave Felix the choice of one of those three dishes that give us the most anxiety. The dish that Felix chose. Yeah, it's risotto. Was a stunning risotto. But it looks like I have to cook again. Yeah, that's probably why sinks. Felix picked it, maybe. Yeah, because she has to cook again. Because I've only made risotto once in my life, and it was not very good. Risotto's not intimidating to me, because I've made it before, and I'm comfortable doing it in a short period of time. Felix! Yes? For winning the Mystery Box Challenge, 
You don't have to cook it. Oh, she doesn't have to cook. Yeah. But she didn't oh, know. Like, I'm yeah. Yeah. Go enjoy your safety up in our gallery. Dude, that must be the best feeling. I would have been like Beef what Wellington, let these suckers drown. Yeah, but she didn't know. All of you will be eliminated on the back of this risotto. So make sure it's not you. All of you have got 45 minutes to make it would have been a hard stunning to make risotto. Dude, I don't You're think anyone would know. Five minutes. Make, uh, Start Wellington. from that really now. Off you go. As Felix enjoys the safety of the Master Chef Lounge, Under. the remaining must now there. choose the necessary ingredients to make <laughs> one <laughs> laughing at all of those dish. Butter. I need butter. At the end of the challenge, at least one more person will be sent home. Oh my God, what was that guy's name? It was just like a screen grab. David. I think it's David. David. David Mack? David Mack? Oh, the other David. So David. David. Pretty much everything you really need to make <laughs> all of <laughs> <laughs> Have to be see, I couldn't to, see, so I have no really idea what anyone's skills were really like. A blast like. of this or a blast of that, you know, to really mask some of the subtle errors that you might be making. Michelle says she does clams or scallops or mussels or shrimp. Everyone else can see what's in the pantry. <laughs> I can only really cook with ingredients I know about. Even Tali kind of have the same haircut. A big for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> some food baskets. If you were out there right now, what kind of risotto would you be doing? Something super simple, one ingredient. You have yeah, to season all the way through. You have to season the onions when they go in. You have to toast the rice, add the wine, burn the alcohol out, more salt, make sure your stock is seasoned. I mean, there's a lot of balance here. Mm -hmm. You cannot rush a risotto. I didn't know risotto had wine in it. Yeah. That you okay, off. Frank, yeah. how's your rice coming? So far, so good. What would your family think if you get sent home on a risotto? My dad would definitely break my bowl. <laughs> They say Trademark. that on national yes, sir. television? Flavor. That's what not you're bad. Doing? Uh, I got some white wine, butter. I got the morels. I know those have a nice flavor to them. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Who's that? David. Matt. Oh. Felix, okay, how you feel morels? I would have just taken uh, them from the pantry and eaten them. It feels really nice to just be able to watch from above what everyone's cooking style is. It looks like Talia's never made risotto before. <laughs> it looks like Dave Mack has never made risotto before, as well as Scott. He's not using Man, classic she's just talking shit. Wait, 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 rewind it. She said why. Scott because what? Rewind, huh? what he's, rewind to what she said about why Scott looks like he's never made it. I didn't hear. I'm just laughing. Three. I'm going to make a poblano risotto for them today. I'm going to add what? a little piece of Wait, did I fast forward? And yeah. uh, see where we go from there. Hello, Helene. What do you think? Baskets. You were out there right now. Risotto. My dad would definitely break my bowl. Sorry. Okay. Dave Mac. Yes, sir. Flavor. What are you doing? Uh, I got some white wine, butter. I got the morels. I know those have a nice flavor to them. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I mean, you sound like salt. Felix, how you feel up there? Good. Uh, it feels really nice. Josh is on the same level as above what everyone's <laughs> cooking style is. It looks like Talia's never made risotto before. It looks like Dave Mac has never made risotto before, as well as Scott. He's not using a classic technique, and there's reasons why techniques are developed. Dang, Felix. Wait, what did I say? You said there's reasons why techniques are developed, bro. It's like, you suck. Hello, Helene. What do you think? Um, I think it's actually done. The texture is telling me that it's really close. Did you taste that rice? Yes. It tastes cooked to you? Well, it's getting there. Yes, too, like, one, two, three, four pans going. What are you doing? I am gonna make risotto with green and yellow beans, white She's asparagus, so and sun-dried tomato. Not keeping things simple. I'm gonna see how things turn out, and I'm gonna go from there. Last 15 minutes. Here we go. So with 15 minutes left, we should certainly be adding the first consommés to our final risotto. The rice should be toasted, the onion should be wilted. You're starting to see the rice swell a little bit, gaining volume, yeah. working it, working it, working it. Who do you think is going to be uh, doing something delicious? I think that Frank will do a good risotto exactly. because I think yeah. he's eaten it before. Right. Dave Mack? He's got a pot like this where it's literally like just making us porridge. Right. I think Tali is kind of really out of, in, out of his comfort zone. His technique is all... He's put cranberries in there. I mean, the never go in a bloody risotto. Yeah. Cranberries, one of them. He doesn't know when to stop. He doesn't know when to stop. I mean, I'm seriously concerned. He is in hot water. All right, who do who do you guys think is gonna win? I would guess Frank. Frank. Yeah. Frank the Tank. I mean, he's Italian. Hopefully, he makes the best risotto. I've probably only made risotto once before in my life than before this. 
I was like, I know mushrooms would taste good. You probably need shallot, definitely butter, white wine, arborio rice, and then I probably, yeah, went with some shellfish because it'd be quick. All right, Phyllis, what kind of risotto would you have done? Um, I don't know, maybe like a seafood one. A little seafood risotto with uh, Asian influences. So kind of like a, like a chook, but risotto style. So okay. with like white pepper and then um, maybe sake instead of uh, oh, a wine. Um, some ginger, finish off with like scallions mm. and like clams, shrimp, some like calamari okay. in there. All right. We need, we need to do a cooking session. <laughs> Five minutes to go. Use the time wisely. In this risotto elimination challenge, many are struggling. Oh my god. By, me. By the end of tonight, another one of these cowboy home cooks oh will be I wonder if he's ever made risotto. <laughs> hey, start thinking about the execution. Everything. You're just like grinning like from ear to ear. I am? Yeah. I don't even know why. I think you're trying to take the scallops out or something. Cheese. I don't know why I would be smiling because I'm sure I was stressed. Or I was probably like, man, F myself. This sucks. I'm going home. Holly plated his risotto in a bowl and then put it upside down on a plate so it's like a bowl shape. It stays? <laughs> yeah. One and stop. Everybody. Well done. And the sad news tonight, somebody will be leaving so the Master Chef kitchen. Double elimination. The episode. judges will taste each risotto dish. Then the three worst I think dishes I remember will be singled mine out, was and one of those rich. home cooks will leave the competition. Okay, let's start off. Back row, Monty. I'm a little freaked out right now, but I'm not going home. I came here to cook and I came here to win this. This is uh, a risotto a made with white wine it and looks chicken like paella. stock with uh, pancetta, pine nuts, sun-dried good. tomato, and sure. white asparagus. It does not look like a risotto, does it? <laughs> Damn, John. Uh, what? They don't look, look like, like that, table. ever. They don't so there's a the risotto like down there. we have got to dig for this one. The... Pancetta is crispy. That's the nice thing about it. Unfortunately, your garnish tastes better than the actual body of the risotto. Damn. Have you ever eaten risotto before? No. What? That's bizarre. Did I've never eaten risotto? <laughs> he just shakes his head. <laughs> he just shook his head. Yeah, he just gave him her a death stare and just. Doing all right. Yeah, she's about to cry. She probably wants to punch him in the nuts. Oh, she's fine. The thing is, as whoever you're cooking it for is getting the bite, they should get a tiny little piece of asparagus, a little pancetta, all those things, not huge, long pieces that don't really fit on a fork and are just garnished on the top. Thank you, Monty. The judges, they expect us to be at a certain level, and I was far below that level. Frank, let's go, please. Everybody's looking at me to make the quintessential Italian um, dish. So, yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. I'm feeling that I need to bring it. What do you got for us? Clam, artichoke, and blood orange. It looks a little and dry. Cheddar, basil, toasted fennel seeds, <laughs> and guajillo pepper. And then you guys are going to be looking at me because I'm Italian, so I wanted to do something different, hopefully impress you. It's a good angle. Well, it worked. Bravo. Thank Good you job. So much. Look at the texture in that. That's what I love in risotto, you know, being able to, to stir and find all the little goodies yes. hidden in there. And Frankie, you ain't playing around, dude. It looks like, like a kimchi Thanks, risotto. Felix, hey, like, who do you think was the best plater Frank. in the competition? Like, who plated really beautifully? Uh, off the bat right now, I can't really tell. They all look decent. Who, who, do you, yeah. who, do you, who did you think was like, man, they're going to be like really good and might win early or, on? Or early on. opposite. Who do you were like, oh, man, they're what are they doing here? <laughs> they suck. So what's that blind girl doing here? <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember being up there thinking like, oh, which person I feel like is gonna uh, for this channel? I didn't even remember I chose risotto. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ten years is a long time ago, for Felix sure. Felix probably blocked this uh, period out of her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember who wins? <laughs> I, I think it was uh, a white girl. <laughs> Becky? Becky. Oh, okay. oh, you mean like this episode? I thought yeah, you you, to... Oh, I thought you were yeah. making a joke, like who won the whole season. No, 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 no. Like the, the risotto challenge. I don't. I don't no, I don't remember. I, I, bet, don't remember I bet it's who. Frank. I bet it's Frank. I'm yeah. going to guess Frank. Yeah, I'm going to guess Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's on, right? That's it, baby. There we go. All right, David, please. Which David? I need to start making a name for myself in this kitchen, or else I'm going to go by the wayside and I can't have that happen. In the veal stock risotto, I put portobellos and some oyster mushrooms. That looks pretty good. Berry roasted that looks more like a risotto to me. Some scallops. Except for all the salsa stuff. Making risotto and using veal stock at the same time is a very dangerous game. You nailed it. Thank you. Really good job. It looks too wet this to me. It's too much sauce. Oh, oh my god! It's delicious. The poblano, the the cook on the rice is perfect. The layering of flavors, well done. Oh my god! It's crying. Yeah, he's about to cry. Oh so man! Oh man! Wow. Um, what is that? That is saffron risotto. Oh, the basket. Oh, I remember this. You remember that, Felix? Wrapped in burdock root. So mm, now I do. Kind of into it. Of that bright brain of rice. What does that mean? Turmeric. That is perhaps undercooked. Oh. Perhaps. That's not perhaps. It's definitely undercooked. The basket. <laughs> what the <laughs> <is> that? <laughs> A basket. <laughs> oh God! I could scream. <laughs> the scallops are still raw. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the MasterChef trophy. I'm thinking, nah. Yeah, she was just overthinking. Gordon too much. really did not like her. It sounds like. Do you guys understand the spirit of this? It's impressive how well the basket was. Able it to held to together. He <laughs> lifted it up. <laughs> oh, and the I give her props for weaving it for so craft, nicely. Craft yeah, how did she do that? <laughs> We're not fooling around here. We're looking for specific Why things. It's not a game. And you're not here to waste I think our time. To make it look or I think she was overthinking it. Like, oh, if I do this, it's going to be fancy. But then it just came off not not a good idea. Okay. Uh, was it yes. asparagus? I think she said burdock root. Yeah, she said burdock root. The rice is undercooked, and the scallops are a joke. A joke? So mean, Joe. She probably spent too much time weaving the burdock root basket to cook her rice. You guys understand this? Oh, Felix, people are asking, do you have an Instagram? Mm -hmm. What's your Instagram handle? It's Felix, F-A-N-G, 217, and I'm... The picture is a weeping goat. <laughs> All right, there you guys go. Spirit of this competition, what we're looking for here, scallop basket. He just threw it in go the trash can. Oh. Garbage basket. We were waiting for that to happen because we knew someone would throw something. One of the judges would throw food in the trash Rice at some is point. Undercooked and the scallops Helene looks like she came from like they the really Greek Roman times. By she looks very creations that I made. Yeah, but. At least I went to the edge of my comfort zone. I tried something new. Yeah, I didn't nail did. it. I screwed up. She acts her like it too. Her <laughs> she's very like proper. Yeah, she's very proper. Oh, this is you. I yeah, I think my risotto is too uh, rich. Onions with scallops and the scallops are cooked really well. With smashed garlic and chili peppers. Oh, I don't even remember I did that. Look young. You were um, almost frazzled by this dish. You have a extraordinary palate, but I think that one is subpar. Next up, Ryan. I think I, 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 I eat it. We have a <laughs> I think when I took a bite, I was like, oh, shrimp. it's a lot of butter and a lot of cheese. I was like, I think my risotto was mm. a little mac too and, rich. Mac and cheese. Mac and rice. I made a Duke cell out of the three of them so that I can incorporate the mushrooms in every made bite. A Duke cell? The consistency of the risotto itself was spot on. Good technique on the rice. Good job. Thank you very much. Dang, he redeemed right, himself. Scott. 
next time. Is it a profiteral risotto? This elimination challenge is definitely a, a chance for me to redeem myself with the judges. It, it means everything to show them that I can not only just bounce back, but actually really shine. You think this has it? Is this going to be good? Does it look I went good? back to where I normally cook. Uh, it's simple and I cool. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a very traditional spot. risotto. It shows Italian Seven food. ingredients in this entire dish. It looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I need it. The texture's nice. Thank you, Chef. Huge improvement over the last dish that we saw. Thank God. A spirited effort, and uh, welcome back to the uh, contest. Thank you, Jim. So the next risotto we want to taste is from Tali. Oh, man. Joe is definitely the scariest judge. He's the judge to win over. And if I can do that, then the Master Chef title is definitely mine. I made a pistachio, cranberry, cherry, and gooseberry risotto. What's this? I'm sorry, man. That sounds like one of the worst risottos. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just sounds so bad. That's hazelnut and walnuts mixed with some tapioca maltodextrin. I wanted to give it a little bit of um... You know what it is? It's garbage is what it is. <laughs> what you did on that dish is inappropriate and ultimately kind of disgusting. I think I felt Congratulations. Really Man, these judges are mean. They're like Tali's genius, which is too much for Joe to comprehend. Unheard of in a risotto. That is a disaster. Damn. I feel like I remember Tali being like really. Last but not least, Dave Mack. About how it was a good idea after the match. Looking at my dish, everything was fantastic. My dish came out exactly how I wanted, and I feel very confident. What we have here is uh, some moral mushrooms, some portobello mushrooms, use some veal stock, a Sauvignon Blanc. What is with the bread? He put bread? Yeah, he had bread slices with some thing on top of it, like it's some, like some kind of... I didn't wash them out completely. If they're not rinsed super well, especially the morels, the it's like a dirt sponge, and you taste that, and it's just gritty. It's just this is really bad. How does it look? It looks okay. Risotto part. I mean, plating could. Don't the grab bread a thing is weird. Please tell me what to avoid. I'm here to eat the dish, or should I eat selectively? As you wish. A little too sandy for me. Can you spit it out? Yeah, I spat it out. Joseph Guys, some basic stuff like feeding us sand and things like that, not good. Michael just is like, screwed oh my up, god, oh my god. But uh, <laughs> I hope that they're able to see through that and still see my culinary greatness. My culinary greatness? We, we tasted some fantastic risottos. <laughs> Felix is wearing a banana shirt. Risottos. She is? Yeah. It has a banana shirt. We now shirt. need mm -hmm. to come up with a decision. It's like an Andy Warhol banana. The judges must now decide which home cooks are the bottom three. From these, one more person will be sent home tonight. Good job, Christine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Thank it just shows the inexperience. Oh, Aline. Aline is a disaster. Too. Aline was shocking. According to them, it was like way undercooked. Yeah, not the worst. She is. Who? I, don't, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, no. is that David? Demar was pointing at Helene. The sand, you know, big, big technical error. I didn't wash the mushrooms. And I think I started too late. Any freaking dish but risotto, man. Seriously. He's too close. <laughs> Ryan and Tally are the two people. Okay, who do you think is going to go home? David Mack? Yeah, David Mack. I think, I think, I think Helene goes. Hers is undercooked and the baskets. May, or her, maybe. Yeah. I oh, mean, I forgot about her. Yeah. yeah, maybe Helene. It's either, yeah. I mean, I would say Tolly too, but then I know Tolly yeah, stays. Yeah, no, he stays. They, they have to have the mad scientist <laughs> longer. He put like, uh, like powder on his dish too. I don't know. It's just weird. But oh, here, here's a comment. Okay. If you had to choose between eating Helene's scallop baskets or David Max Sandy Morel risotto, and you had to finish the whole thing, oh, finish the whole thing. Uh, I would do the mushrooms. See, I see, and John doesn't even like mushrooms. I would want to do the mushrooms too, but I can't imagine if it really is sandy. I wouldn't want to eat the whole thing. But I, mean, I think sandy, I'd rather eat how sandy, sandy mushrooms. Could it be, though? And, and his ingredients sounded 
okay rather than undercooked risotto. Her undercooked yeah, risotto sounds undercooked worse. sounds terrible. Yeah. Okay. What about you? It depends on how undercooked it is, you know. <laughs> You know, just al dente risotto. <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes, like, I don't know. it. Like, if it's just slightly, slightly, then I don't... With raw I, scallops, though? Her scallops are raw? That's what they said. Oh. That's I mean, what they say. I don't know. Sometimes yeah. I don't believe them. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, play. People that I want to see go home, they're just total idiots. And if they don't stay on their toes, I'm oh. going to want to take them out. <laughs> He's hating on uh, Tolly and... Uh, Clearly, we have to take them out. The words Flavor elevator. Out. Are they making alliances? I'm gonna have to throw yeah. someone under the bus. They're Once like talking shit. The ones... David Mack and David Demar are talking shit about Kali and Flavor elevator. They're like, we gotta take them out. I don't remember right, guys, this. Back to the stations, please. Thank you. Do they realize they that they're two. right? I guess they don't care. They don't, they don't know. Risottos. You don't know. Yeah, but you're right. The first one. I know, but like you're on this show for the first time, and probably all of you guys are first time on TV, yeah. so you don't think they're gonna use these clips, you know? <laughs> the mic is always Sorry. hot. Great job. What happened? However, there was one that stood out, head and shoulders above its competition. Oh. That dish belongs to Frank David Martinez. Wow. Both of you will become. Team captains oh. in the next stage of this competition. Sure that, so who is it? Ryan. You know, oh, it's Ryan and David. This elimination challenge comes with a departure. There were three dishes that stood out, all for the wrong reasons, <laughs> and at least <laughs> one of those three have cooked their last dish in this competition. The first dish that was out of character, bland. Damn, he seems so And angry. on the verge of an embarrassment, yeah. that dish belongs to. Dave Mack. Come down here, please. Please stand over there. Thank you. Ryan and Dima. This next dish had very bizarre flavors and techniques. Tally. It's gotta be Tali. Yeah. Helene. Oh, we did a bizarre technique. And then Tali's the third the of the third. worst dishes yeah. had a mix of ingredients that made no sense. <laughs> Didn't even seem to know what a risotto was supposed to be. That dish belongs to... I'm just trying to not lose my grip on my countertop because I know I'm going to be in the bottom three. I know it. Commercial. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the third of the worst dishes had a mix of ingredients that made no sense. Didn't even seem to know what a risotto was supposed to be. That dish. I knew that would tally. <laughs> I was like, my, my dish made sense. No, Felix is probably risotto. up top just be like, oh. More embarrassing. <laughs> Who do we send home? I did what the challenge asked for, you know? So I, I feel safe. I screwed it up. My risotto was undercooked. And I'm feeling, quite frankly, scared. My food tastes great. What do the judges want? Why didn't they see it on my plate? Say, man. I don't know if Tolly's like joking, joking, or is he, if he's really full of himself. No, I think he really thinks the judges don't understand him. We had a yeah. heart to heart. He probably tastes it and is like, you I think it not. tastes good. Like... Stay there, please. Helene, your dish was really bad. We were bitterly disappointed. But it wasn't one of the worst two. Oh, it's David. Back to your station, please. Thank you. Thank you. Tali. She sounds so You're old. not safe either. Your dish was confused, bizarre. It's almost like you're trying to outsmart your competition. You can <laughs> bamboozle every amateur behind you. But you cannot bamboozle us three, let me tell you. Sorry, chef. I just didn't, I didn't. This is my first time cooking a risotto. Tali. Someone said it looked Stay like there. a crime scene. What? Like this dish. dish. On that risotto, the person leaving is Dave Mack. Get back to your station. Your time is done in this competition. Please put your apron 
on your station and leave the master of kitchen. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm glad I got to compete at this level. The judges did make a mistake by sending me home. Uh, I have a lot of creativity. Thank you very much. What can you say? You know, hope for the best, plan for the worst. Tali. You have dodged that bullet. I'm telling you, you are flying by the seat of your pants. Back on your station. Thank you so much. Whew. That's the sigh of relief. I dodged the biggest bullet of my life, and I don't want to be in that position again. It's working. Yep. Next week on Master Chef. Oh, it's a field challenge. It's the first team challenge of the season. Yeah! And the surviving home cooks are going to war. Hit the neck! Each team will battle it out to feed America's <laughs> heroes. What? Dude, Mark got... I wake like, up! And the losers a, a will go head to head in something. a pressure test. I can't believe this is happening. It is what Satan himself would fear. When one more Master Chef hopeful's journey... Oh, the apple pie! Honestly, I think I'm gonna be going home. This, this is your one scene. <laughs> <laughs> that you're you're that that made you famous. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and I remember Felix's apple pie was like so beautiful. I think she fluted the edges all around. I think her pie looked the best from what I remember everyone saying. Oh man. <laughs> How was it watching uh, that episode again, V? Um, it was pretty cool. Flashbacks for sure. Yeah. 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 Everyone was like, I feel like our season was very emotional. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who cried the most? Probably me or I don't know. Monty, Monty, Monty looked like she cried, cried a lot, a lot too. too. I cried a lot too. Tanya was always crying. Yeah. Really? I, I don't feel like I remember Tanya crying a lot. No, yeah, I think she cried too. And I, I remember this was like the season where we were all like sticking up for each other. I mean, yeah, there were some people that didn't weren't fond of each other, but I remember it was after that team challenge where like, who wants to be like exempt from whatever? We're like, no, we're gonna all stay down here. We failed as a team. Uh... <laughs> and then they got so pissed and the judges were like, no fools, this is a competition. <laughs> like, look out for yourselves. Oh man. <laughs> Do you, so do you do you stay in touch with anyone else from the show? Besides Christine, no. Wait, no, Tanya sometimes, but she's in Australia right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, I get to see her if she pops into LA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's great. I haven't talked to Tanya in like a long time either. Yeah. And she haven't seen her since she was in Austin. So. Dude, she looks so different now. She's lost a lot of weight. She lost like a crap ton of weight. Like she looks great. Yeah. 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 yeah she looks great. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, Felix. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. have any other questions? Yeah. Does anyone? Guys? We ha John said there was like three hundred sixty something people tuned in watching with. Three hundred seventy eight right mm -hmm. now. So, Felix, what are you up to, and do you stream? I I don't stream, but I guess I. I'm going to start streaming. She will. Sometime. She just signed up for a Twitch. Uh, it is called The Weeping Goat. Yes, The Weeping Goat. So that's her t new Twitch channel. She's trying to figure out Twitch. So, you know, Let's like see. us, you guys gave us lessons. So Felix might need lessons on how to the work this whole goat. streaming thing, too. But um, she's Where's already... the button to even stream something? <laughs> oh, man. Felix is at the very beginning. Right? <laughs> Dude, you already got 22 followers on your channel right now. Oh, so my God. 22 followers. Everyone go right now. If everyone <laughs> goes right now, go. you get 378 right here. <laughs> um, um, oh, yeah, yeah. What else are you up to, Felix? I think people want to know. So plug yourself now before you got to go. Um, I am. So fucking fast. Like... Sorry, sorry. I had to turn off the Twitch because it was like live streaming other stuff. Um, I'm actually in the middle of developing a CBD chili oil. Oh, uh, I, I saw that you're making chili oil. Yeah. What, what, what's it called? Do you, do you have a website? And I'll pull it up while we're chatting. Um, I bought the domain, but the website hasn't been created. It's going to be called Fong's Sauce. Sorry, the list. Fong's so, Sauce. So F A N G S. S A U C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So her last name, and then. So this is her Instagram page. So, go and follow it, Felix Fang two one seven. Oh, is it that Baba's Chili Crisp? Is that is that stuff it? Well, I've been making a bunch of different ones, but um, 
I do have an investor, so I'm working on getting something out soon. Cool. And not only is it going to be CBD and chili oil, um, I want it to have like a sensual element too. So, so you can use it for massage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, In what? The eyes? <laughs> Wait, what? You, is, uh, essential gonna, oil? She said no. essential, I think, right? Sensual. Did you say sensual? Sensual, yes. Sensual. Yeah, Wait, so what? that's why I'm like, it is it also a massage oil with chili peppers? With chili peppers? It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a spicy hot, like an icy spicy hot. No, oh, no, like no. Szechuan peppercorn? Like. No, no listen. Sorry, sorry. Let, let her speak. I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add a horny goat weed, which is an herb that like gives people stamina and endurance oh okay Interesting. do you yeah. like rub it in no, you specific just eat it. area you, you just oh eat you, it. Eat it. you eat it yeah you just eat it you oh it see you we're your it. typical audience feel like so obviously you need to educate us so <laughs> they're like yeah. don't rub it on yourself you don't gotta eat rub it. it on yourself rub it on each other <laughs> Got it. Got it. Well, that's cool. How exciting. Is it kind of like, is it going to be kind of like a Szechuan style chili oil or what kind of style? Yeah. So it's going to be kind of like traditional. And then, um, I want to do two kinds and one will be more traditional and the other one will have like dried anchovies and peanuts and black bean in it. Okay. So yeah. More funky. Yeah. A little bit more funky. So I'm like playing around with that, but that's kind of like what I've been working on. Um, cool. I started a day job on top of my night job uh, waitressing. So I've started working as an assistant to this entrepreneur. So I'm like helping with like uh, running like a music studio, like a recording studio and like just random ass stuff. Scheduling. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. That's cool. cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, excited to try your sauce when that's ready to, uh, I mean, I guess you don't even, you could always just, you don't even have to officially bottle it up. So next time we come to LA, I'm going to try some. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll show you what they look like right now. Okay. They won't like that in the future because, oh. I have, you know, the packaging will be different once. So currently this is the La Mama. Mama. Yeah, la ma means like mill for like hot mom. <laughs> and this one is the eho for East Hollywood, like we hope instead of eho. And this one has like, um, it has like a bunch of lemongrass and macro lime leaves. So it's kind of like tum yum in a chili oil. Mm -hmm. that people nice. really love this one. Nice. Um, this is the OG Baba chili crisp. So that's more traditional. Uh -huh. And then this is long sauce this is my first prototype that actually has cbd infused in it oh nice cool yeah that's exciting who who did all your yeah, designs and all that huh who did all your label designs and all that oh i did i just printed on my i just use a like canva uh, yeah yeah i just use canva and then printed out on oh. um, brown stickers yeah it looks good it looks not bad you know yeah. No, it looks good to me. I, I thought you paid someone to get it done. No, no, no. I don't. I don't have the money yet. But I hope that when I when I launch a new line, it's gonna look dope. Well, we it's have. Gonna be, it's gonna be sexy. Well, we have four hundred people watching. So, like, if you have your shop link, send it next time, and you'll probably have four hundred purchases. All right. Cool. Yeah. Give well, me a month. Thanks, Felix, for taking the time out on short notice to join us. It was fun and good to connect with you again. And hopefully, um, I'll let you know when I do the next one and if you can, you know, connect and... and hey, uh, more importantly, when are you guys coming to LA? I don't know. Oh, I don't no. have another plan to go out there anytime like that soon. But, you know, I always let you know, so I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. You should come hang. Like, no, you, you and Judy are supposed to come to Houston. Yeah, y'all need to come to come Houston. Houston. Cause I know I do want to go to Houston. I, I need to see some I need to see some Texas in me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Food here okay. is good. Okay. All right. I'll plan for that. Okay. Let us know. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon, either in person or back on this live stream, and we'll watch yeah. another episode together. And if you need help okay. with uh, streaming stuff, there's like a, a million guys on the internet trying to help you already, so you can easily <laughs> get them. <laughs> Or I can help you out. <laughs> okay. I need help. Help me. 
<laughs> exactly. They're like, oh yeah, damsel in distress, I'll come help you, no problem. <laughs> All right. Thanks, V. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, Bye, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. We'll do another one soon, and we'll uh, try to schedule it and line it up so all of you can be ready. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you, guys.